Hi everyone, this is Tiziano, and today we're going to do something a little different. First of all, we're going to call the software in the loop from within our script, and then we're going to start uh, explaining the telemetry and parameters. So what is telemetry? Basically, the telemetry is a way the drone uh, makes you aware of where he is, what he's doing, what it is his health status, what it is his mode, velocity, attitude. So basically, those are uh, informations that you need to know in order to write your high-level program. And also, there are other uh, other things like uh, firmware version, firmware stability, and so uh, things that are related to the actual status of the firmware. So, for example, you want to know if your uh, vehicle is able to receive and deal with uh, velocity commands before actually you're going to send them because you want to check if the vehicle can receive them otherwise it's useless. Now in a firmware there are tons of parameters and you probably want to read them and sometimes you want to set them and you're going to see it's very easy because the parameters are all contained into a dictionary into a Python dictionary that is uh, at the same time settable and gettable so you can modify and read the same parameters from the dictionary. In the end, we're also going to introduce the concept of listeners. What are listeners? Well, listeners um, are a convenient way of calling your callback functions only when you receive a specific Mavlink message. You can define a listeners for every available Mavlink um, message that you can receive. Check out the documentation on the Mavlink page for more information. So, let's get started. Follow me in the next Tutorial. In this script, we're going to run the simulator inside DroneKit, read and handle telemetry from the UV, read and change parameters. We start off by importing DroneKit time, and also we're going to import DroneKit SITL for handling the software in the loop by within our script. We create the object software in the loop from the method start default of DroneKit SITL, and then we, create, we, have, we obtain the connection string from the method connection string. Then we pass the connection string to the function connect and we create our vehicle object. We also wait ready that the autopilot version has been received because we want to print which type of firmware are we running. This is only one of the things that we can up, that we can print uh, of the firmware. We can also print the, if the, whether the, the release is stable or not, which issue it is, a lot of other extra stuff. Then we ask telemetry information like position, attitude, and velocity. For example, position we obtain from the global relative frame um, objects inside location, inside vehicle. And the attitude is vehicle.attitude, and velocity is vehicle.velocity. Now keep in mind that you can also uh, obtain roll and pitch and yo by detailing attitude, putting, for example, vehicle.attitude.roll for roll, etc. Then, if we want to know what was the last time we received the last the heartbeat, we can ask to vehicle dot last heartbeat, and we can check whether the vehicle is uh, armable or not by asking uh, to the flag vehicle is armable. Then there are other parameters that can be settable. So, for example, vehicle dot ground speed is the actual vehicle ground speed, and we can set vehicle dot ground speed as the the uh, ground speed that it will be set during a mission. At last, we want to check it whether the EKF, that is the extended command filter, runs OK by asking to the vehicle.ekf OK flag. Drunkit lets you to define listeners. What is a listener? It's a, basically a way of calling a callback function every time the program receives a mabling message that you want. In this example, we're going to create a callback function called attitude callback, and it will be called every time the system will receive an attitude mapping message. You can use, um, you can add a callback function to every mapping compatible message. Now we want to handle parameters. Now in this video, we're going to handle the throttle minimum parameter, that is thr underscore min. We want to print the actual value, then change the value, and then check the value after we change. So as we see, the parameters are stored in the dictionary parameters. That is also that is either gettable and settable. So you can get and set parameters in the same way. 
And at the end, we want to close the vehicle and then we want to stop the simulator in the loop. Okay, we start our script. The software in the loop starts by itself and then it prints all the telemetry that we asked. Then the, um, the listeners, it's been set up and it'll print the attitude for five seconds. And after five seconds, we're going to read the throttle parameter and we're going to change it, change it and then check that it's been sent correctly. Then we close the simulator and we close the connection. So as usual, that wasn't hard at all. And we just scratch the surface. You can do much, much more with DroneKit and with your imagination. So that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Before I let you go, I want to thank all the viewers on both on YouTube and on LinkedIn. Thank everybody. You give me the energy to go on.